The Cabana District of Myrtle Beach is a super unique section of the beach where all the condos and single family homes shift from the beach side of the street to across the street. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a one bedroom, one and a half bath condo that's located in this section of the beach. Hey there, welcome to another video. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. My name is Nick Pelosi and I'm a real estate agent here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina with Remax Southern Shores. And this channel is dedicated to helping you relocate to the area. On this channel, I talk about things to do here. I give tips and advice about the area. And of course, I talk about the real estate. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell while you're at it. I post on this channel weekly and if you hit those two buttons you'll be the first to know every single time i post a new video while you're down there do me a favor and hit that like button as well and now that you've done that we can go ahead and hop in today's topic okay so as i previously mentioned today we're going to be checking out a one bedroom one bathroom condo located in the cabana district of myrtle beach this section of the beach is located not too far down the road from the Golden Mile, which if you're unfamiliar is a section of beach that is filled with these massive oceanfront single family homes. Let me know down in the comments below if that is something you want to see a video on in the future. But today we're talking about the Cabana District, which is again a section where all of the homes and condos switch from the beach side of the street to across the street leaving a section of the beach that is nice and flat. And this area here is filled with these little huts or cabanas that I am told were once associated with the homes across the street, but now are sold separately. Now, these little huts and their parcels are privately owned, but you cannot live in them. They're typically just little kitchens and bathrooms that you can use for a day at the beach. This section of the beach is also filled with these public gazebos, playgrounds, and fitness equipment all along the sidewalk there along the street, which makes it a great little area to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. So as we come around this bend here on North Ocean Boulevard, you'll get a little peek of what I was talking about. That pirate ship in the background is a playground for the kids. You can see we are passing some cabanas there on the right as well. That tall building with the glass windows, that is a Forest Dunes Resort. And as you can see, there is a big open space to the right where there are no houses or condos because they are all across the street on the left side. We're passing some more cabanas there on the right. And as you can see, there is a nice strip of beach where there is nothing on the right side or the beach side of the street. You can see there's a nice sidewalk here. And if you look closely, you can see a bunch of benches and a little fitness equipment set up along the street that you can use while you're going for a walk or jog here along the street. And again, this is a nice stretch of beach where there is nothing on the right side besides these little gazebos and cabanas. We're passing a couple more of them here on the right. And I'm gonna give you a little bit better of a view here as we pass some more fitness equipment and a couple more cabanas. And yeah, that's a little peek here of the cabana section of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The condo that we're taking a look at today is located in Forest Dunes Resort. The asking price of this condo is $220,000 and HOA dues are going to run you $560 per month. Taxes on a unit like this are going to run you between $1,700 to $1,800 if this is a second home or an investment property. Now, if you do use this as your primary residence, you will see that drop down pretty significantly. HOA dues include everything except for the HO6 insurance. We're going to review over all that and more while we're walking through the condo. As we enter into the front door of this unit, I do want to remind you it is a one bedroom, one and a half bathroom unit that sits at just about 740 heated square feet. It is listed for $220,000 and once again, the HOA dues are going to run you $560 per month. These HOA dues do include everything, including all of your utilities and the insurance for the building. The only thing it does not include is the HO6 insurance policy, which would cover your contents and interior of your unit. This would run you about $500 for the entire year. 
If you're unfamiliar with HO6 policies, feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Short-term rentals are allowed at this building, and the estimated gross yearly income is about $30,000 for the entire year. Owners can have pets here as long as you register them with the HOA, but guests unfortunately cannot have pets. This building is considered a condo tell, so you would need special financing if you wanted to finance a unit here. If you have questions about that, feel free to reach out and I will hook you up with a lender who can handle that for you. Again, taxes here would run you about $1,700 to $1,800 for the entire year if this was a second home or an investment property. As your primary residence, that would drop down a pretty significantly. This building does have an outdoor pool, a lazy river, two hot tubs, an indoor pool which is heated year round. It has a gym, a laundry facility, and a restaurant and a bar. There is an oceanfront gazebo with beach access directly across the street. I'm going to give you a peek here at this balcony and the view of the ocean. All of these units are a side view of the ocean. If you were closer to the front of the building, the view would be a little bit better. But we're currently on the seventh floor and there is a good view over this building in front. There is your lazy river, two hot tubs, and your pool. I'm going to show you here how big this balcony is. It is pretty significant for a, a unit like this. And I'll swing around and give you one last peek of the unit as we finish up this tour here at Forest Dunes. That is gonna to conclude today's condo tour here in the Cabana section of Myrtle Beach, which again is located right down the road from the Golden Mile. Again, if you wanna see a video on the Golden Mile in the future, feel free to comment down below. Also check out the description below. I'll leave a link down there for all the condos that are currently for sale in Myrtle Beach. You'll also find a link where you can contact me down in the description as well. Feel free to reach out with any questions or concerns that you might have about the area. I look forward to helping you in any way that I can. Also, be sure to check out some of my past videos on this channel. I have tons of great content. I recommend starting here, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.